This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello there, I'm Virginia Cha with this ABC 10 News update. Many San Diegans are voting early this year. The County Registrar of Voters reporting they have received more than 137,000 completed ballots already. The ballots will be scanned to compare the signatures on them to those the registrar has on file. The registrar says polling places also will be open for four days this year instead of one because of the pandemic. Today, we expect to update, get an update on the coronavirus vaccine trial in National City. Mayor Alejandro Sotelo Solis holding a news conference to try to clarify any concerns from residents. Eight trailers have been set up at El Toyon Park for the Janssen vaccine clinical trial. UCSC researchers have said they hope to focus on recruiting people for the trials from underserved communities that have the highest rate of COVID-19 infection. As San Diegans prepare for more high temperatures today, SDG&E is urging all of us to reduce energy use between 4 and 9 p.m. The utility has suspended service disconnections for those who cannot pay their utility bills during the pandemic. They also have payment assistance programs detailed on their website. Now, the hot, dry conditions are raising the risk of fire danger, so firefighters are asking everyone to avoid doing anything that could spark a fire. And speaking of hot, dry conditions, let's check in with Megan Perry, who's got the details on those. Megan. Hey, Virginia. Yeah, today is likely going to be the hottest day of the week. Temperatures mostly 15 to 20 degrees above normal. That'll take us into the 80s for the coast and mountains with triple digits for most inland and desert areas. And temperatures will remain well above normal all week long. It is going to be hot. Humidity levels between about 10 and 15 percent, as well as the critically dry brush will lead to elevated fire danger. It will be cooler by the weekend, but it will be until it won't be until next week that we see temperatures dropping back near normal. Virginia. Thank you so much, Megan. For the latest news, weather, and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Virginia Cha.